Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are still here in Quanchkin Lake. Yes, there's still lots of species to catch here, guys. We will be moving on to another lake here soon. I'm not sure if we're going to go on to Moose Lake or maybe over to um, the Netherlands. Because I honestly haven't been there in this game yet. So we might be visiting that for a little while. See if we can get some eels. I think what we're going to be doing here this time is we're going to be covering the blue catfish. Now you can catch the blue catfish and the uh, alligator gar and the flathead catfish about the same times in the peaks at night. But I will say that the blue catfish are much easier to catch at night or on a rainy morning. And... Um, the gar are as well but if you're going after the blues you need to go to swampy open space and that's where we're headed and let me show you what we've got gear wise we've still got our phoenix rod I'm gonna be using shiners we've got our lead all the way out and we've got 20 pound test got a glow barber and five odd hooks all my gear has five odd hooks might as well go ahead and tell you that right now I've also got leaders on each one of these just to make sure if a gar happened to bite it, it won't snap the line. I've got, uh, I know this is uh, kind of an unusual bait, but it's from the Halloween event. I'm trying to get rid of them. You don't have to use them. You can, honestly, any of these, the frog, the duck muscle meat, the blood, medium cut bait, rotten minnows, shiners, any of those would work just fine. Uh... Not sure that I've caught them off of mole cricket larvae. That seems to be a Wells catfish favorite. But I think they do bite off of it. Just not as well as the well as the wells. But we've got this all geared up and I think let's see, what have I got on this one? A Laker Pro with the Bringer five thousand, the big alley twelve foot by ten inch, and the big the fat boy spin four thousand. All of these pretty heavy duty, not you know, monstrous or anything, but enough to bring these guys in with a bit of a fight so good thing and it, you can, I think my level what is it 28 yeah yeah I think yeah I got them all around to level 24 25 so that's what you can expect anyway let's go ahead and jump in here we're gonna go to a private room so we will not be impeding any other, anyone else's fishing might as well get rid of that now as you can see I've got a lot of markers set out now there's a reason for that and that's because each one of those markers I have caught a big fish of some kind or a rare fish let me go ahead and show you on the map here let's see I think here yep I caught a trophy smallmouth buffalo there that one's just marking the hole that one's marking that hole and that one's marking that hole. Now there's been... And then I caught a freshwater drum there. Now in Fishing Planet, the blue cats can be caught in these same locations. So this is pretty, I mean, pretty standard. But the blue catfish you can, can tend to catch on this side more. I've caught them here. And I've caught them here out of both these holes. Here, usually flatheads most of the time every now and then you get a blue and you tend to get only a few blue out of here most of those will be channels out of there so this is the blue hot spot right there make sure that's right first here guys actually it might be the one beyond that yeah it's, I'm sorry I'm sorry I am sorry it is this one right here 
That was the smallmouth buffalo. That's what it is. Okay. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to almost mislead you there. But we are in the peak, so we might as well go ahead and get these set out. I'm going to toss that right where the marker is. I think it's 10 feet out there. Yep, no, 11 feet. Yeah, it's definitely a hole. Decent hole. Boop. We're down and I grab that. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang on it. Seriously? <sighs> Occupational hazard. We'll have to recast it. Must be some weeds or sticks or logs or something over there because I can't imagine what else it would get snagged on. It must be a little bit of a breeze. Now, that's not quite as deep as it was the first time I put it. So the only good thing out of that is that it probably won't get snagged again. Okay, I'm going to do it just a little to the left of that so that... Well, it didn't take long. Might not even get to cast out my float rod. Let's see. Nope, I don't think we're going to. Hold on. And it's a cat. That much I can tell you. And it's a decent one. Oh yeah, this is a blue. This is definitely a blue. Now, they don't waste any time. Now I can catch them on the non-peaks, but I'll tell you, if you're going to get the trophies, you got to get it at the peak. That's just pretty much the case. Now he's going to give me a fight for a while. That I can tell you. I'm like right on the edge of the gear level they can get these guys in in any relatively decent amount of time okay that's not too bad we're getting some distance on him until he realizes it <laughs> it's like wait a minute I don't want to be caught get away okay he's coming he's coming yeah I don't think it's a flathead the flatheads don't fight as hard as the blues do nowhere near as hard you'll think you'll have a unique flathead and it'll be a trophy blue the regular blues fight like trophy flatheads I tell you it's like they are something else you can see what I mean here look at that he's still taking off with it holy crap this is yeah they they will give you a fight be reckoned with here. Okay, let's see if we can get him in past 70 almost. Sometimes holding it up in the air like this helps a little with these guys. Not always, but sometimes. I don't know why, but it seems to get them, if you keep reeling, and are patient, see, it keeps the pressure on them. As soon as they slack off just a little bit, which he's not doing too much. <laughs> There we go. Come on. There we go. We got him. No, he's just the blue. He's a big one, though. Do you see how hard I had to fight him, though? Yeah, these guys are something. I will tell you that. They're definitely worth it. 1456. 
That's not bad, Cash. Level up again. Got some new gear that's available to us in the stores. The Hornet Swarm is a very good reel if you can purchase one. Or the, the Hornet Swarm 4000 or 5000. That is awesome. That's going to be great. And once I get the... And this one, Ardix? That's not one I've heard of. That must be new. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not getting a lot of bites off of that pig's eye. They do like the rotten minnows. They like the stink. like stinky stuff. I can't really tell which one it is. I th Let's just wait it out. I'm going to see if I can't get a blue over here in this hole. The only thing is, the freshwater drummer down in there, pretty high numbers too, as are the channel cats. Wouldn't mind getting a unique channel. There's something after it. Oh yeah, something's after it. Look at that. I'll be able to tell in a minute what we've got here. Uh, thinking channel. Thinking channel cat. Either, yeah, channel catfish. Decent size one. There you go. A trophy channel. And none too soon because they've got one on here too. No, I don't think this is a blue. Well, maybe it is. Probably a regular sized one. Either that or a very large channel. I don't know, he's not fighting hard enough to be a blue. Yeah, it's a channel. Another trophy channel. How deep? Well, it didn't tell me how deep it was. I think I'm going to switch the bait on this one. They don't seem to be going for it right now. I am going to see if the guard go for it later on. Okay. Let's see if they go for the mole cricket larva. I am curious about that. I can't remember testing that theory. Since I already know they're going for the rotten minnows, might as well test this. Ain't gonna hurt anything. See if we can't find a blue over here. Love to get a unique channel. And this is the time to get them if you can. It's why is that? Well, I must not have hit the hole exactly right. Okay, we got definitely got something on this. Okay, this this is this may be a blue. This may be a blue. I don't think it's a trophy, but it is a blue.
Either that or a massive channel. Now we got one on the other. As soon as we switch that bait. Yeah, it is a channel. It's a big one, though. Yep, another trophy. Man, we were just pulling the trophies in left and right here. Well, I guess that proved my uh, curiosity there. Er, yep, and it is a blue, without a doubt. This is a blue. And they do like the mole crickets. That's good to know. Yep, we're going to have a fight. <laughs> we're going to have a fight. Let's do what we did last time. Maybe if we hold it up, we can get him in. See if we can get him in while he's unsuspecting. <laughs> come on, you little... There he goes. He's making a run for it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Now, once it gets to about 20, then I tip my pole down and real fast and usually get them right in, so... Come on, daggone it. He just keeps going back and forth in the 50s, and now he's going off with it again. Getting a... Th we almost had it in the 30s there. There we go, we got him. Another decent blue. Huh, none of these are trophies either. They're definitely giving me a fight. Okay, that looks like I might have something on that. Let me check. Maybe not. I must have had something on it and it got away. Probably got my bait. No, he didn't get my bait. That's surprising. Okay, we're definitely trying this mole cricket larva again. That's 10 feet right there. Yeah, this is probably going to have to be our last fish. Just due to time. It's another deep spot. Alright, let's try over here again. Okay, we got the we hit the hole that time. Time before I think I missed it. It's just a little off. Plenty of predators over here. Okay, we're definitely getting a bite off this float rod. other one too. Come on, go for it, dude. Playing around. There he goes. Okay, we got us a channel, I think.
Uh, just a regular channel. Now, which one is... I think it's this one. We got him. Not sure what we got, but... It's either regular blue... Probably a channel. Come on, big guy. Get your butt in here. Ooh, you think you're bad. One more run for the channel there. I think we got us another... No, it's a flathead. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll take him too. Every now and then you'll get one out in that spot too. Catfish Master 2. Certain number of catfish. Two gold. I'll take that. Well, guys... That is the catfish fishing over here in the open swampy space, and believe me, it's a good spot. Like I said, you can get the blues, you can get the flatheads, and you can get the channels as you have seen. Now, if you'll go over here, you'll get the flatheads, but that was not what we were focusing on at this point. But I definitely will take some trophy channels any day of the week. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Classic. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Wait, ho, 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 wait a minute, one minute. Before I end this, we have us a fish on here. Okay. <laughs> I saw it. He thought he was getting away with it, but he wasn't. He's not huge, but I'm not going to let that get by me. There we go, little channel. <laughs> nice try, fella. Anyway, as I was saying, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.